Yo, everybody, what's up? It's your boy, Zach, the Celtics guy. I'm back with uh, part two of the whole, my commentary on the whole J.K. Rowling drama that that was stirred over these comments that she made about, like, trans people and about how she, she like, sided with someone who made some, like, not okay comments or whatever. And I managed to dive a little bit more into this because that video I made the other day, I wanted to talk about it because I was driving home from work and I didn't have much time to look into it. I was working all day like that day and I only found out about it like like a few days before and I didn't have the time to do it then either. So I figured I didn't want to be like late to the party and I wanted to talk about this because my boyfriend Steven and my friend Jennifer Ranella in the group who's actually trans too, by the way, like they talked about this, a few others talked about it. Um, and Jennifer also filled me in on some stuff about like, like she left a comment on my last video saying something like along the lines of like how, like, like what she, she seems to be transphobic since she followed someone who followed this or that person. I mean, I haven't had too much look into that one, but it was just the whole thing. Uh, she said that, like, she agreed people cannot change their biological gender or something like that. That was the whole, that was, like, the whole thing. And it was more ignorance than bigotry. You know, maybe that is true, okay? But what I think it all comes down to is the person who made the comment that was so offensive about trans people got fired for, like, what she said and then J.K. Rowling stood by her, and then everybody flipped out, and then people made a big fucking shit storm about how, like, oh, she, like, oh, how she, like, sided with this person, and how, and, like, and just, like, what she said. Okay, and, and look, I'm gonna tell you right now, like, Athena, um, the, also in the group, too, said, like, the whole thing is fucking ridiculous, and it is ridiculous, because she said this, and look, I don't understand, how is this transphobic? I'm just gonna like read what she said. Like this was her Twitter, quote, qu or tweet, quote, dress however you please, Rawling wrote, call yourself whatever you like, sleep with any consenting adult who you'll have, live your best life in peace and security, but force women out of their jaws for stating that sex is real, I stand with my eight, my, Maya, this is not a drill. Okay, like, what's the big fucking deal about that? Yeah, like, the whole thing about sex is real, like, gender is real, or, like, or like whatever. Like, I don't see the big fucking deal in that. I, I think, okay, maybe she could have, maybe she didn't have to side with this person. But there's, or I, I, I don't know, but there, there's, like, no reason. Sorry, my nose is itchy as fuck. There's, like, no reason for anyone to, like, throw... This is just thrown way out of proportion. Like, they're going to go around calling her a transphobe, and they're going to go around just saying all this stupid shit. And then the Human Rights Campaign wrote a thing about trans women are women, trans men are men, non-binary people are non-binary, binary, sorry, C.C. Rawl, J.K. Rowling. Again, you people are throwing this shit way out of fucking proportion. Like, you're, you're going to accuse her of this, you're going to accuse her of that. Like, if it wasn't this, it would be something else. Because this is just what the far left wants to do with everything. They want to take something that's not a big deal, and then they want to turn it around and then throw it around and then make it out to be, make this issue out and to be something that is not a big fucking deal. So that was the whole thing. That was the whole, like, reason behind this. So I'm just going to go through some of these articles here and then we'll, we'll just, I'll just like break it down as we go along because maybe I'll learn more stuff about it. And I think Jennifer um, made a lot of good points about what she said and how, yeah, probably wasn't like the best word and it was kind of ignorant of her. Okay. You know, okay. That makes sense. But, but just the fact that Everybody's throwing this big ass fit for no apparent reason. It's like, come on now. Like, 
It's like, come on now, like, give me a fucking break with this bullshit. You're, you're, you're making, you're making something way bigger, a, a big of a deal as, you know, do I, do I think that J.K. Rowling is a transphobe? I don't know. I, I don't give a fucking rat's ass if she is or not. Like, I, like, I don't give a fucking rat's ass if she is or not. Like, like, it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't affect me whatsoever, but I just think, Maybe she could have worded it better. I, I, I don't know. I think my whole take on it at this point going forward is I don't really like, okay, maybe she could have worded it better, but it's blown out of proportion. That's my opinion on the whole subject. Like my whole opinion on the subject is like, okay, like it's blown way out of proportion. Maybe she could have worded it better. Maybe siding with this person wasn't the right idea. But at the end of the day, Whoever she's siding with is really her fucking opinion. Like, it's her opinion. She can side with whoever she wants. It's her choice. What the fuck ever, people. Move along. Okay? Move along. It's not that big of a deal. Okay? And by the way, how is saying go live your life however you want? Okay? And look, I wanted to address this too. Because how is what she said like how... Oh, go live your life how you want, or um, go be happy, go do this, go do that. Okay, how is that bigoted? You're basically saying, okay, live your life, be happy, do what you want, it's your life. Because that's exactly what my family said to me when I came out. When I came out as gay when I was like 15, that's what everybody said. Everybody said that about me. You know, it's, it's really no different. But like I, I look, I, I, I can, I, I like I, I can understand, like I can understand where Jennifer's coming from. I really can, and and I don't deny anything she said at all. I think Jennifer has very good points. She's not wrong, for, not wrong at all. But I just think that this controversy that J.K. Rowling is in is fucking ridiculous. You know, like what are you gonna do? You're gonna deplatform her. You're going to deplatform this one and that one. And look, like, okay, I said this a million times. I'm going to say it before. There's going to be people in the world that are going to hate trans people for ridiculous reasons. They're not going to go away. No matter what you try to do, like, like this person that J.K. Rowling sided with, okay? Like, you can deplatform these people. You can censor them. You can block them out. You can do whatever the fuck you want. You can, you can like close your ears and go la 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 like uh, you can go like la 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 like I'm not listening like Mr. X on the X's like oh, la, 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 I'm not listening la 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 like you can do all that shit okay? You can do all that shit but they're still going to exist so not only is deplatforming and censoring people a waste of fucking time okay? It, it, it does nothing to solve the problem. Because you don't solve the problem by covering your eyes, covering your ears, and fucking banning people and throwing a big-ass fit for no apparent reason. Seriously. That's just what you do. You don't mean... Like, that's what you do in that situation. You tackle the issue. You tackle the issue. You call it like it is. Now, see, people like this are getting all the shit. But where's all the controversy over real issues like fucking Stetson supporting pedophilia? Where's the LGBT community on this? Where are my fellow LGBT community members on this? Or the whole issue on the child drag shows and all this other fucking sick shit that's going on in the world? Where are all these people? They're nowhere to be seen. They're nowhere to be found. Crickets. Fucking crickets. She's facing a backlash. Like, fuck off. This is, this is ridiculous. Like, this is fucking ridiculous. It, it's, just, it's just absolutely ridiculous. Okay, here's this one article that really pisses me off. Okay, this one article where someone is just being a fucking baby. Okay, from The Independent. I write... LGBTQ inclusive books for JK for, for children. JK Rowling's tweet breaks my heart. Shut the fuck up. 
okay? Like, like, is that supposed to sting? You're gonna sit there and be like, oh, she hurt my feelings, oh, she did this and that. Like, shut the fuck up, okay? Grow up, okay? How is what she said, okay, how is what she said broke your heart in any way, shape, or form when she's saying, you know, go live your life, dress how you want, whatever. I don't understand. It's fucking ridiculous. Let's just like read this article as we go along because this has got to be, and I've read a lot of stupid fucking bullshit about this, but this is, but this one, but this one is just too funny. Many trans people found an escape in the Harry Potter books as they discovered who they were and their beloved author's statements have shocked and hurt them. No, it didn't. Okay. Didn't, didn't hurt me. You know, didn't hurt a lot of people. I mean, it didn't hurt, you know, Jennifer. It didn't hurt Athena. Uh, you know, my, you know, it didn't hurt any of these people. It didn't hurt anybody else. I mean, Athena's not in the LGBT, but I remember she was saying how that this whole thing is fucking ridiculous. In Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, J.K. Rowling once wrote that it takes a great deal of bravery to stand up to our enemies, but just as much to stand up for your friends, which is why it has been incredibly difficult bearing witness to her most recent tweets in support of Maya Forstater. That was the woman who made the comments about how, like, biological sex is real and shit like that. A woman whose story hit the news after a contract was not renewed due to her views on gender identity. For many of us, Rawling has been our entire, has been our entire childhoods, our escape, and at times our friend. For many of us, that has now changed. Like what? Thanks to her defense of Forstater, who's recently lost an employment tribunal over refusing to recognize transgender rights. My heart is broken and I am not alone. Shut the fuck up. Rawlings' tweet was unambiguous. Dress how you please. Well, I, I, I already read the fucking quote earlier. I don't need to quote it again. See, see, like, see what I mean? People are just making a people are just making a big fucking deal about this whole thing. All right. People are just making people are just making big fucking deals about this whole thing. You're making a big deal out of something that people shouldn't be making a big deal about. For real. I I just don't think that they should. I just don't think I just don't think this thing is a big deal. I think people need to literally calm the fuck down about this and stop making a big deal about something that's not a big deal. Yes, what the person said, not recognizing trans rights. Yeah, like, yeah, that that's stupid, you know? Because, yeah, trans people are real, you know? Of course. Obviously. But I don't understand the whole... Like, oh, she's... Like, J.K. Rowling is a bigot. Like, oh, she's a this, she's a that. Like... Like, give me a fucking break here. Okay? So, J.K. Rowling is apparent. Then there's a bunch of fucking videos about this. And... J.K. Rowling gets cancelled. What the fuck? Ah, uh, and of course, fucking YouTube ads. So fucking annoying. Well, it's time for media watching. Erin Ogake is here with us in the studio. Erin, you've been taking yeah. a look at what is uh, making a splash online today. Uh, we're going to start with the uh, Harry Potter author, J.K. Rowling, who's got herself involved in a very thorny dispute. Tell us yes. about that. Yes, it has spiraled out of control, so much so that uh, amongst the top trends on Twitter, three of them were related to this story here. Wow. So before I go into the tweet that has gotten J.K. Rowling into, into some trouble, I'm just gonna give you some background information, uh, which is that this woman here tweeted, Maya, um, Maya, Maya Forrester Forrest, tweeted okay. last year uh, that uh, transgender women cannot change their biological sex. Now this tweet was in- Well, Joe Rogan made the same comment when he was interviewing Ben Shapiro, okay? Like he, like they both made the same arguments. Like, wh like where was the controversy and all of that? Like they said those things, 
and nothing happened to them. Joe Rogan didn't get a bunch of fucking shit about it. Okay, so, like, what this woman said was really no different than what, like, Joe Rogan said. So, like, like I, I, again, I don't understand what the, what the big fucking deal is. Response to a government proposal to reform the Gender Recognition Act. This is a British woman. This is yeah, a British woman. Okay. Yeah, all in the UK. Uh well, duh. Of course it is. Like, like, where the fuck else do you think she's from? The moon? Um, so she was responding with that tweet um, to respond to to a to a legal uh, legislative proposal in the UK that would allow people to self-identify as the opposite sex. Now her tweet, of course, saying that people can't choose their sex; they're either one or the other. Mm -hmm. um, and so she okay, maybe that part wasn't right because it's like no, being trans is not a choice. Okay, so that part is fucked up. Okay, I can I can acknowledge that. Okay, that part I can acknowledge. Okay, there we go. But still, how does tying to J.K. Rowling, please enlighten me. She was fired from her job for that tweet, and after she was fired, she took the case to court, arguing that the view that there are only two biological sexes falls under the realm of uh, a protected belief under the U.K.'s 2010 Equality Act. Now, yesterday, a labor court in the U.K. also said... No, uh, that tweet is, incom quote, incompatible with human dignity and fundamental rights of others, and people do not have the legal right to question whether a transgender person is a man or a woman. What do you mean they don't have the legal right to do that? What the fuck are you talking about? So, like, what are we going to do? Like, like, okay, so, like, what, like, what are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to go around censoring people that we don't agree with? <laughs> Let me, let me play that again and see if I heard that right. Uh, that tweet is, incom quote, incompatible with human dignity and fundamental rights of others, and people do not have the legal right to question whether a transgender person is a man. Or a what do you mean they don't have the legal right? What the fuck are you talking about? Like, what the fuck are these people talking about? Yeah, there's a lot of people who say a lot of bigoted shit. Yes, they still do technically have the legal right to say it as long as, yeah, it's fucked up, it's offensive, it's wrong, okay? And I certainly don't agree with it, but that doesn't mean we should shut people down for it and then like, oh, if J.K. Rowling somehow agrees with it, it doesn't mean we should make a big fucking deal about it and think, oh, it's the end of the world, it's, oh, J.K. Rowling. Like, come on now. So with that uh, ruling, yesterday's ruling in She said mind, biological sex, not gender. Exactly, okay. exactly. And so with that ruling in mind, J.K. Rowling tweets this, uh, dress however you please, call yourself whatever you like, sleep with any consenting adult who will have you, live your best life in peace and security, but force women out of their jobs for stating that sex is real. I stand with Maya. This is not a drill. Um, she's had an awful lot of backlash to that. Has a now, lot of shakes. backlash, yes. And the backlash has uh, brings to light not only uh, the different divisions within the feminist movement, but also how... Okay, the feminist movement of today. I am in the sense of like what... Like, I'm against what feminism is today. Like, I, I'm by definition... Like, okay, in general, I mean, like a long time, I, I've kind of shifted in my views. I, I was kind of center-right for a while. I was a little bit more left-wing for a while. But I'm kind of center-right, like I was a little bit. But I'd say today, in 2019, I'm like a straight-up libertarian. Like, yeah, you know, I mean, I have liberal principles. You know, I support, you know, I support Bernie Sanders. I support universal health care. I support... You know, a living wage, shit like that, you know. Not a big fan of Trump, not a fan of Trump by any stretch of the imagination. But I don't go around bitching about him and blah, blah, blah. You know, I think, yeah, smoke weed, do whatever the fuck you want. Like, I think people should be able to do whatever they want as long as they're not harming anybody else. You know, or they're not, like, slandering people or violence, threats of violence, you know. You know, whatever. But... No, I just think this whole thing is ridiculous. How difficult it is to have uh, a calm debate about thorny subjects, indeed, over social media. You know how difficult it is to have to listen to you people bitch? You want to talk about thorns? Your thorns in my eardrums because I have to fucking listen to you. So, in addition to I Stand With Maya and J.K. Rowling trending, uh, the... I Stand With Maya, yeah. Well, well, what if she meant she stood for Maya and me gal? What if she meant that? Just 
saying. Who knows? Term TERF was also trending. Now, TERF is an acronym, as ACT UP says, that stands for Trans Exclusionary Radical Feminist. Uh, this uh, organization saying, JK Rowling, you are a TERF. Now, a TERF, what, what does that mean? It essentially means that it's someone who purports to be a feminist or a radical feminist, but who excludes uh, transgender people from their realm of And activism. it's used as an insult. Of course, as, as, a, as a, a horrible insult, especially on social media. Now, the fact that she's been called a TERF means that she has essentially been canceled uh, online, yes. which of course just means that she's she's uh, she, she's no longer accepted among woke society. Uh, so a lot of criticism there. Woke society, like that's pretty fucking subjective. But this person saying, you know, it's not possible to live your best life in peace and security if there are other people constantly debating your right to exist, sneering at your struggles, and smearing you. Nobody's doing that. Nobody is debating your right to exist. Hello? Nobody, nobody said that. J.K. Rowling never said that. And this fucking bitch that made this comment. Yeah, she said some fucked up things, but she didn't, like, deny their... Just, oh, my God. See, like, this is such a complex subject. I Like, I know I'm kind of, like, going back and forth trying to, like, make, like, what I'm, like, trying to think about this whole thing. But, it, it, look, it's a very complicated issue, people. And it's just... It's just ridiculous. Uh, based on nothing but the fact that your gender identity is not the norm. Um, this person, of course, there's also been a lot of uh, criticisms of her that mesh uh, Harry Potter pers uh, yeah. characters. So Professor Umbridge, obviously kind of this uptight, very conservative women. So this this person saying, I decided to see, I, I, I checked to see why J.K. Rowling is trending, trending because I know little about Harry Potter and see that she's a turf. So basically she's this lady, mm -hmm. uh, Professor Umbridge. Um, this person saying, Some people say that's really going into the realm of misogyny as well. Very much so. I mean, it's really being insulted. Yeah, it's a, it's a sticky debate. Yeah, really. Um, this person saying, J.K. Rowling is like a month away from announcing Dumbledore has sexually, successfully completed oh. gay conversion therapy. Just kind of. Oh, that's fucking ridiculous. Oh my god. Oh, and then, then, then this one person is like, not following her anymore, I'm not following, oh, really? Like, is she, is she gonna, like, give a fuck? Is that supposed to stick, buddy? <laughs> Come on, throw up. Rough, uh, rough criticisms. Um, now, obviously, there have also been a lot of tweets in support of both Maya and J.K. Rowling. This woman saying, uh, the sex we are is a biological reality, a scientific fact. Uh, whereas gender today is a social construct, an ideology, an ideology, a feeling totally changeable. I believe we cannot change sex, so the biological uh, definition of sex, but we can live happily in expressing ourselves outside of any stereotypes. That's what Joe Rogan said. That's what he said. That's what he said, literally. That's exactly what he said. And that's what Ben Shapiro said. And again, I don't agree with Ben Shapiro on probably 70% of the issues. I, I, you know, I don't for the most part, but, but it, it's just, oh my God, I, I, if, if look, if, if I can find that, I'm going to link that also below in the, in the, I'm going to link that below in the link as well. Um, that video about like Joe Rogan and how like these comments are kind of sort of tied in. But this woman did kind of go a little bit over the top by, like, saying, like, she was, like, refusing. She was, like, refusing to, like, acknowledge, like, trans rights. Like, okay, I think pretty much... All right, I'm done watching this. I can't take the bullshit. <laughs> I think pretty much what it all comes down to is that people are blowing things out of proportion way more than what it really should be. I don't think what the woman said was right. And yeah, maybe J.K. Rowling siding with her probably wasn't the best idea. But at the same time, I just think people are just making a bigger deal out of this even more than it needs to be. That's what I think. I think I finally, you know, I think I finally formed an opinion on this. I, I look here. Okay, he, here's what I think, and I'm moving on from this fucking subject because it's such a mixed bag. It's such a, it's such a like, it, it, that like it's so fucking complicated, and I and I just, it's just, just even talking about it just make my fucking head want to explode. The whole thing is, 
I think I'm gonna, look. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say it like this. I don't I I don't agree with what the woman said. The, what the what that Maya woman said. Whatever the fuck her name is, Maya. Whatever. I don't think it was right what she said. I didn't agree with it. I don't think she should have got deplatformed though. Um, and J.K. Rowling siding with her and agreeing with her. I mean, eh, eh, I don't know. It's like, eh. but I, I mean, I didn't see anything wrong with her tweet. They're like, yeah, go live your life, go do whatever. I think that's a good thing to say. You know that that's a good thing to say. But. But I, I, but like I, I just think that that the thing has just been so blown out of proportion. I think, I think people need to just chill the fuck out. T take a, take a breath, okay. Realize that like it's not the end of the world. That's just what I think on the whole thing. So that's so that's my take on it. I think J.K. Rowling was kind of, eh, it's kind of fifty fifty on what she said. Kind of 50-50. I didn't agree with what the person she's defending said. But I think the whole her having this backlash is like... I think it's fucking ridiculous. I think people are taking it way too out of proportion. People need to move on from this. Just disagree with her and say, yeah, I wasn't right. Okay, fine. You know. But whatever. Move on. People are going to say things you're not going to agree with. There are plenty of things Sam Harris has said that I don't agree with, okay? And I agree with him a lot. I like him. I like Sam Harris. He's a, he's a very intelligent person. I didn't agree with him on Noam Chomsky, his comments on Noam Chomsky. You know, I didn't agree with those comments, which I'm going to cover at some point in the future. But anyways, I'm going to end this for now because it's already like 27 minutes long. That's my take on the whole J.K. Rowling thing. If you have any more questions, comment, let me know what you think, and um, I'm going to do another video at some point because there's another issue I want to discuss too about Twitter that I'm really fucking pissed off about that I'm going to get into at some point. Thank you all for listening. Comment, subscribe, let me know what you think in the comments. This is part two, and this is my like final word on the whole J.K. Rowling bullshit because I'm like, I'm, it's like old and I'm sick of talking about it. But anyways, let me know what you think, and um, I'll do another video soon. I'll try to do on maybe tomorrow at some point because I'm not going to be around for like a week after like next week because I'm going away on a big trip. So anyways, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you guys later. This is Zach the Celtics guy signing off. Thanks for watching. Peace. Have a good have a good day. Hope you all had a great Christmas. My Christmas was good. And peace out. Bye for now.